Okay, so we're going to have a look at expanding double brackets with thirds. So here's our first question. Uh, again, make sure you've got a piece of paper, writing down some examples because you've got plenty to have a go at. But let's get started with the first one. So I'm going to treat this exactly the way as I would with normal double brackets when I'm doing algebra. And that process for me that I use is I first times these first two numbers together, so 3 times 3, and I just write them in a nice logical order, so that's 9. Then going from the 3 to this root 5 at the end, being careful of the symbol there, it's negative root 5, okay? So it's 3 times negative root 5, which is negative 3 root 5. And then I move below onto the next one, so root 5 times this root 3 makes plus 3 root 5 and the final one there from the root 5 to the root 5 makes and it's a positive root 5 times a negative root 5 so my answer is going to be negative it's going to make root 25 and as we've seen before that just simplifies down to 5 so it's minus 5 negative 5 there okay now we just need to collect these pieces together so I have two numbers I've got the one at the front and the one at the end, so I've got 9 take away 5, 9 take away 5 is 4, and I've got these two roots in the middle, okay, I've got negative 3 root 5 and positive 3 root 5, and they just cancel each other out, so negative 3 lots of root 5, add 3 lots of root 5 just gets you to 0, so I don't need to worry about writing anything else, my final answer there is 4, okay, and this is quite a key one, if you have a look at the original question, okay, they were the same brackets, one had a positive, one had a negative, so it's very similar to algebra when you have a difference of two squares, those two middle pieces there have cancelled each other out and our final answer is four. Okay, on to our next question. Okay, here we go, so another double bracket. Different to the one above, obviously they're not the same brackets this time with different symbols, we've just got two uh, standalone brackets here, so I'm going to follow the same process, two times five is ten, two times negative root three is negative 2 root 3. Onto the bottom, root 3 times 5 is positive 5 root 3 there because we've got a positive symbol in front of our root 3, so plus 5 root 3. And then positive root 3 times negative root 3 again makes negative root 9, which is minus 3. And then finishing that up, I just need to tidy it up again. So I've got 10 take away 3, my two numbers. 10 take away 3 is 7. And my two thirds, I've got negative 2 root 3, add 5 root 3. So negative 2, add 5, is positive 3, so it's plus 3 root 3. There we go, I can collect those two thirds in the middle together and that's my final answer there, 7 plus 3 root 3. Okay, on to the last one before you have a go. Okay, so slightly different wording here and a slightly different sort of question. So write 2 plus root 5 in brackets squared in the form a plus b root 5, where a and b are integers, again, integers being whole numbers. So let's have a look at this question. So this bracket, 2 plus root 5 squared, is just a double bracket. It's just another way of writing when a bracket is being times by itself. So I'm going to rewrite this question, 2 plus root 5 brackets, 2 plus root 5. Okay, I'm going to expand it from there. So, same process, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times root 5 is plus 2 root 5. Then we have another one there, plus another 2 root 5. And the final one, root 5 times root 5, again, is root 25. They're both positive symbols this time, so it's not going to turn negative. We just have plus 5, because root 25 is 5. And there we go, and just like before, tidying it up, we have 4 and a 5, and that makes 9, and then 2 root 5, add another 2 root 5, combines to make 4 lots of root 5. Okay, 2 lots of root 5 and 2 lots of root 5 will make 4 lots of root 5 in total. Right, there we go, so there's three examples. Hopefully you've uh, written some of those down, but I've got some questions for you to have a go at now. Only three, okay, so here they are. Okay, so pause the video there, I'll go through the answers in just a sec. Right, okay, so the first one, root 3 times root 3 is 9, root 3 times negative root 7 is negative 3 root 7 root 7 times 3 is positive 3 root 7 and the final one root 7 times negative root 7 is negative root 49 which is negative 7 and then tidying that up 9 take away 7 the 9 at the front 7 at the back is 2 and negative root 3 add um, sorry, negative 3 root 7, add 3 root 7, just cancels out to 0. So my final answer for that first one's 2. 
Okay, on to the second one. Three times six is 18. Three times negative root five is negative three root five. Root five times six is positive six root five. And the last one, root five times negative root five is negative five. And again, tidying it up, 18 take five is 13. And negative three lots of root five and six lots of root five gives us positive three lots of root five. So there's our final answer, 13 plus three root five. Right, and on to our last one. Uh, we've got to write, rewrite this question, so two plus root three times another two plus root three. Okay. So two times two is four. Two times the root three is two root three. Onto the bottom, root three times two is another two root three. And root three times root three is three, and that's positive three again this time. Okay, so adding those all, all up, we've got the four at the front, a three at the back, which makes seven. And then our two lots of two root three makes four root three. So we've got seven plus four root three for our final answer there. Right, let's have a look at some slightly different ones. Right, okay, here we go. So expand and simplify this. So slightly different look. We've got a number in front of this two root three here. And also, this is a slightly odd one because we've got a third in here which isn't fully simplified. Okay, we've got a root eight there. Now you don't have to simplify it at this point. We can see if we can simplify it later on. You wouldn't be wrong to simplify it now. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it and see what happens. Okay, so just take note, there are some slight differences in this question, but let's have a look. Five times three is 15. Five times negative root eight is negative five root eight. Two root two times three, remember numbers times numbers, thirds times thirds, so it's just two times three, which is six, so plus six. Root two, and there's no root with the three, so just root two. And then finishing the last part off, it's positive times a negative, so I've got negative. I'm just gonna work this out to the side. Two times the one there is two, and root two times root eight, so we get two root 16 negative two root 16, and root 16 is four. So that's negative two times four, which is negative eight. Okay, well if we do that to the side here, look, two times four, which is gonna be eight. So let's just get rid of that working out there and put negative eight. Okay, we can start to tidy this up now. We've got 15 take away eight, which we can do, but these thirds aren't gonna, aren't gonna simplify now. So what I need to have, to have a go at doing is first simplifying this, because we've got a five root eight there and that can simplify. So again, I'm just gonna do that to the side, five lots of root eight. So ignoring the five, root eight is root four times root two, which is two root two. And again, just remembering we did actually have five lots of that. So five lots of two root two is 10 root two. So rather than writing this five root eight here, I'm gonna write 10 root two. So I'm gonna rewrite this question. I've got 15 minus 10 root two plus six root two minus eight. So 15 take away eight is seven and then minus 10 lots of root two, add six lots of root two, leaves me with negative four lots of root two. Right, there we go. So slightly harder there, we've got little bits going on where we've got to just be careful to simplify. Um, but uh, there are little hints there that we, you know, with, the, with spotting the root eight to start with, that there's gonna be some simplifying going on. Okay, so some slightly different things can appear in these questions. Let's have a look at another. Okay, so expanding this, let's have a look. So seven times two, is 14. Seven times negative three root six is negative 21 root six. Onto the bottom. Two root three times two, that's positive two root three times two, so positive four root three. And two root three times a negative three root six, so two times the three, and it's positive times negative, so two times the three is negative six and then root three times root six gives us root 18. Okay we've got some in an interesting one here because let's have a look we've got 14 at the start we don't have a number at the end this time 
We've got 21 root 6, that doesn't simplify. Root 6 doesn't go any smaller. We've got 4 root 3, that doesn't simplify. Root 3 doesn't go any smaller. And then we've got this 6 root 18. Now root 18 does simplify, so let's see what happens if we simplify that down, see if any of these can join up. If it makes a different root to this 6 or this 3, then none of them are going to join up and we'll have a final answer. But we do need to simplify this 6 root 18. So I'm going to do that to the side. Let's have a look. So 6 root 18. So ignoring the 6, root 18 is root 9 times root 2, which is 3 root 2. And then again, just like before, remembering that's 6 lots of 3 root 2. So that's 18 root 2. Right, OK, here's an interesting one then. So let's write what we've got now. We've got 14 minus 21 root 6, which doesn't simplify. Add 4 root 3, which doesn't simplify. Take away 18 root 2, which again doesn't simplify. OK, so we'd have to leave that like that because we've got a root 6, a root 3, a root 2, a normal number. So that would be our final answer, which obviously looks very different to some of the others. But expect anything in the way that the answers look here. Right, so I've got a few for you to have a go at. Only three questions again. So I'm going to give them to you now. Again, pause the video, have a go, and I'll go through the answers. OK, so here's your questions. So pause the video there, have a go at these, and we'll go over the answers in just a sec. OK then, so on to the first one. So if we expand this, we've got 5 times 7 to start with. That gives us 35. Then we have 5 times the 2 root 3, and that's going to give us 10 root 3, and that's positive, so plus 10 root 3. And then underneath, we've got the negative root 8 times 7. Now you've got two different options here. You could just straight away multiply by the root 8 and then simplify it. Or we could simplify the root 8 first. So if we simplify the root 8, and let's do that to the side, that divides by 4 and 2. So that'd be root 4 times root 2. So that is going to be 2 root 2. OK, so that'd be 2 root 2. So actually, we're going to do 2 root 2 times 7. So when we do the 2 root 2 and we multiply it by the 7, that's going to become 14 root 2. That's a negative root 8 there, so we keep that as negative. So that's going to be negative 14 root 2. And then we have to do the negative root 8 multiplied by the 2 root 3. So again, that's going to be negative. And that is going to be 1 times 2 at the start, so that gives us 2. And the root 8 times the root 3, which is going to be 8, 16, 24. Now let's just think about that, because root 24 might simplify before we write it down. So we're going to get a root 24. That definitely divides by 4. Does it divide by a higher square number? No, it doesn't. So that's going to be root 4 times root 6. And root 4 is 2 again, so we're going to get 2 root 6. So there we go. Now, we've obviously got two lots of that. So if we just write that down up here to start with, the fact that was going to be 2 root 24, and then we can just do one more line, simplifying that and seeing what we get. And obviously, you can see that all the thirds here have got different numbers in them. So we're not going to be able to simplify them or join them up at all. So we're going to have 35 plus 10 root 3. There's no other root 3s. We've got the minus 14 root 2, and again, there's no other root 2s. And then we're going to have minus, and we have two lots of 2 root 6. So two lots of 2 root 6 will be 4 root 6. Almost wrote 2 there, let's get rid of that. So that's going to be 4 root 6. And as you can see, none of those pieces join up, so that is going to be our final answer. So that is our final answer to the first one. On to the next one, when we expand this, we've got 3 times 5, 15. We've got 3 times the 3 root 2, so that is going to become 9 root 2. And then underneath we've got root 5 times 5, which is 5 root 5. And then for the last one, 3 root 2 times the root 5, that's going to become 3 root 10. And they're all positive, so plus 3 root 10. And again, just need to look at those thirds. You've got a root 2, a root 5, and a root 10. None of those simplify, so none of these are going to join up. So there we go, that is our final answer. OK, so on to our final question here, and this is a double bracket. So it does help to write this out as a double bracket first. So we have root 12 minus root 3, and that is being multiplied by another root 12 minus root 3. And again, we just follow the same process. This one's a little bit more interesting, because when we do root 12 times root 12, that's the square root of 144, which is just the whole number 12. So we get 12. Then we have root 12 times the root 3. Root 12 times root 3 is root 36. The square root of 36 is just 6. And that is negative, as it's a positive times a negative, so minus 6. Underneath, we've got another 
root 3 times root 12. Again, there's a negative, so again, that's going to be 6. And then we have a negative root 3 times a negative root 3, which is going to become positive root 9, which is just plus 3. So this one here, we get all whole numbers. And 12 take away 6 take away 6 is 0. Add the 3, and we just get a final answer of 3 to finish that one off. And as you can see in that one, we haven't even ended up with any thirds at all. So there we go, some different types of questions, different answers that can come up. And before we finish, I've got one more for you to have a look at. Here it is. So have a go. And I will go over the answers in a sec. OK, then last question. It says find 5 minus root 8 times 7 plus root 2, leaving your answer in the form a plus b root 2. And I quite like this, the way the question's written, because it gives us a little hint there that it is all going to simplify down to a root 2 at the end of the third parts. So let's have a look. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times root 2 is 5 root 2. Negative root 8 times 7 is negative 7 root 8 and negative root 8 times root 2 is negative root 16. Okay, let's see what happens here. Well, first things first, negative root 16 is negative 4, isn't it? So we can just write that there, negative 4. We dealt with that bit straight away. The other bit that stands out to me is this one here. So this actually isn't a root 2, is it? We've seen before, root 8 does need to be simplified. So again, I'm going to do that to the side. I've got 7 root 8 to simplify. So root 8 is root 4 times root 2, which is 2 root 2. And again, just like before, just need to remember to bring that 7 back down because it was 7 lots of that. So final answer there was 14 root 2. So I'm going to swap this 7 root 8 for a 14 root 2. And let's rewrite that. I'll tidy up these numbers, though. So we have 35 take away 4 at the start, which is 31. Then we have plus 5 root 2 take away 14 root 2. There we go. Okay, tidying up these root 2s. We've definitely got 31, that's not going to change, but we've got positive 5 root 2 take away 14 root 2. Okay, so 5 take away 14 is negative 9 root 2. Okay, so 31 minus 9 root 2. Now that's a little bit strange as well because in the question here it has a plus okay but it just means that value of b there is negative 9 okay which is obviously a silly strange way of writing it but it would be 31 plus negative 9 root 2 okay but we obviously wouldn't write it like that we'd just take away take get rid of that positive symbol there and just write the minus like we have in our answer so 31 minus 9 root 2 okay brilliant all right, so next time we're going to have a look at rationalising the denominator. Um, but if you like that video, if it's helpful, again, please like, please comment, please subscribe. You know, drop a, drop a comment if you'd like some particular videos to be done. Happy to do that. Okay, and I'll see you for the next one.